Urbanization in India began to accelerate after, due to the country's adoption of a mixed economy, which gave rise to the development of the private sector. Urbanization is taking place at a faster rate in India. Population residing in urban areas in India, according to 1901 census, was 11.4%. This count increased to 28.53% according to 2001 census, and crossing 30% as per 2011 census, standing at 31.16%. According to a survey by UN State of the World Population Report in 2007, by 2030, 40.76% of country's population is expected to reside in urban areas. As per World Bank, India, along with China, Indonesia, Nigeria, and the United States, will lead the world's urban population surge by 2050. Mumbai saw large scale rural urban migration in the 20th century. See Maine, Mumbai, in 2018, accommodates 22.1 million people, and is the largest metropolis by population in India, followed by Delhi with 28 million inhabitants. Witnessing the fastest rate of urbanization in the world, as per 2011 census, Delhi's population rises by 4.1%, Mumbai's by 3.1% and Kolkata's by 2% as per 2011 census compared to 2001 census. History the transition period After independence, India faced poverty, unemployment, and economic backwardness. The first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, focused on the domain of science and technology. The mixed economy system was adopted, resulting in the growth of the public sector in India crippling down the development of Indian economy leading to what is popularly known as Hindu rate of growth. Topic. Modern India The contribution of the agricultural sector to the GDP of India started to decline and the percentage contribution from secondary sector increased. The period after 1941, witnessed rapid growth of four metropolitan cities in India, which were Kolkata, Delhi, Mumbai, and Chennai. The nation's economy saw a rise due to industrial revolution and the invention of new technologies increased the standard of living of people living in urban areas. The growth of public sector resulted in development of public transport, roads, water supply, electricity, and hence the infrastructure of urban areas. Maharashtra was the most urbanized state in India till 1991, stood behind Tamil Nadu in 2001 and third after it in 2011, with Kerala being second, with the urban total state population ratio. However, Maharashtra's urban population of 41 million, far exceeds that of Tamil Nadu which is at 27 million, as per the 2001 census. Causes of urbanization in India The main causes of urbanization in India are Expansion in government services, as a result of the Second World War Migration of people during the partition of India The Industrial Revolution Eleventh five-year plan that aimed at urbanization for the economic development of India Economic opportunities are just one reason people move into cities Infrastructure facilities in the urban areas Growth of private sector after 1990 Growth of employment in cities is attracting people from rural areas as well as smaller cities to large towns. According to McKinsey India's urban population will grow from 340 million in 2008 to 590 million in 2030. Therefore, it is being driven by economic compulsions where people move out for economic advancements to areas offering better job opportunities. It is also driven by land fragmentations, villages being erased due to roads and highway constructions, dam constructions and other activities. <laughs> Consequences of urbanization Rapid rise in urban population, in India, is leading to many problems like increasing slums, decrease in standard of living in urban areas, also causing environmental damage. The Industrial Revolution of the 18th century caused countries like the United States and the United Kingdom to become superpowers, but conditions elsewhere are worsening. 
India's urban growth rate is 2.07%, seemingly insignificant compared to Rwanda, with 7.6%. India has around 300 million people living in metropolitan areas. This has greatly increased housing issues. With overcrowded cities, many people are forced to live in unsafe conditions, such as illegal buildings. Water lines, roads, and electricity are lacking in quality, resulting in a decline of living standards. It is also contributing to the issues presented by pollution. Urbanization also results in a disparity in the market, owing to the large demands of the growing population and the primary sector struggling to cope. Alan Chirare, the 15th of August 2015, quotes: "Urbanization is just becoming a disaster to the city of Mumbai in India." It could be argued that urbanization impacts the migrants themselves on multiple levels. Networks of friends and family become support systems during the initial transformation phase and the struggle to find work in a fast-paced environment. Their struggles may take months, or even years, to adjust to the new surrounds in order to find a stable job. Migrants are responsible for supporting both themselves in the city and the family left at home. Some of the positive effects resulting from rural to urban migration occur in the agrarian communities from which migrants came. Family members left at home, usually the elderly and young, are eased out of financial pressures as their relatives work to provide higher standards of living for their dependents. Their quality of life is often additionally improved by the provisions that the migrant sends back. On the other hand, rural to urban migration poses a big challenge for the developing cities due to migrant populations flocking in. How will cities support it in terms of resources, land and space? Urban unemployment The National Sample Survey Organization reported the following urban unemployment rates for the period July 2011 to June 2012. 